Hi, Beth. Okay. Uh, okay. And Hi. we're live at five, everybody. We're on Facebook again. Yay. And so sometimes things happen at Broadway.com, right? Sometimes a lot of things yes, happen. Yes, sometimes. So today, happen. what happened is what we happened? have two guests, two amazing guests today. We're double booked. We're double booked. But um, everyone's going to get every, every, all the time they deserve, and they're both amazing. And so, who do we have? We have, we have Beth Malone. Beth Malone from Fun, Fun Home, Home, who I just saw, just literally made me cry like days ago. Days and days and days. In the show or? No, it's from seeing the show. I went to see the show. And, uh, and Daniel Records here. Yeah. There's no cast of Jersey Boys. Um, hi, everyone. We yeah, we have a double guest. So, anyway, let's get through the news really quick so we can get to uh, these awesome people. So, Big hairspray news. Yeah. Yeah. You what remember, happened? Remember that time I interviewed Derek Hoff? Yeah. And I said, you want to be in hairspray? And yeah. he said, sure. Yeah, you totally predicted it. I did. You I totally predicted it. Derek so, Hoff. He's Courtney Collins. And Martin Short, Tony Winner, Martin Short is going to be Wilbur Turnblad. Martin Short's an old friend of like Mark Shaman, and they've done he's, they're they're all the show connected. together. Yeah. It's all, yeah, it's all family. <laughs> so this cast is turning out really awesome, right? I'm so excited. Now, can we talk about Christina Hendricks? Yes. Any Mad Men fans out there? Because like that's I'm question. obsessed with Mad Men, even though it's off the air. So Christina Hendricks, aka Joan, uh, she is what she's doing reading of. So we're, remember, uh, Sherman A. Scott did this show off Broadway called "World Inside the Loop." Say it about again. Say it again. World Inside <laughs> the Loop. Nope. Anyway, um, she, it was about she went to prison. It was based on what something she really went through. Where she went to prison and like helped these guys yeah. understand theater, right? And they did yeah. like they so. Had anyway, some classes. We were rumors a while ago that she that it was going to come to Broadway with a star with a different star attached, and now apparently Christina Hendricks is the person that's doing a, like, a workshop know. of it, right? Yeah. So that's it's cool. Amazing. Amazing. What else? Norm Lewis. Norm Lewis is, is back is in the Little Mermaid King Triton thing, thing mm -hmm. for for Hollywood Ball. Yeah. Jesse Tyler Ferguson's on Show People, if you want to check that out. Yeah. Um, the most interesting thing is is my shoes matched his hair and was facial that, hair perfectly. That wasn't the most interesting thing. That, well, no, but that was, I was impressed with myself. Well, that was the most I, impressive thing for you. I, I can't see any of the comments now. So I'm that's all right. Beth's, de Beth's blind. I'm deaf. She's blind. You are a good uh, hair. Jay Armstrong Johnson is singing on our site. He's singing. He's singing. Uh, you may have seen him in Hair. He's doing a little medley of Sam Smith and Hair from his... Show which starts tonight at Feinstein slash fifty four below. Slash three performances. Uh, Hamilton Sweeney Todd parody for the Easter bonnet is in the odds and ends. Click on Christina right. Hendricks and you'll see that. And guess who wore the Easter bonnet? Jonathan Groff. Jonathan Groff. I knew He's that. Still I there. He's still there. I, just I told knew you. That. I told you. Stevie Nicks was School of Rock last night. Yeah. This would be a cool thing if they start getting like rock stars to show up at School of Rock, right? That'd be a cool. Yeah, thing. especially and she during played the show. with the kids and it was awesome. She played with the kids. Yeah. Okay. That what was else? Cool. Uh, Talk Everlasting opened last night. You went. Oh, yeah, I went to the opening. I went to the opening. Uh, Imogen did the interviews. I just went and had Party. some champagne and congratulated people. And we have but, beautiful pictures. So, Caitlin McNaney, our photo editor, she followed um, Sarah Charles Lewis, the little 11 year old star, mm -hmm. new Broadway star. She followed her throughout the night and she got some really gorgeous photos. So, that happened. And we finally got pictures of Shuffle Along. So oh, yeah, I know. Idea what that looks like. Shuffle Along is like the big, there's a big cloak over Shuffle Along. <laughs> We're all see. dying to see more of Shuffle Along. Yeah. We haven't seen it, looks it yet. Great. It looks amazing. Although, we did, uh, all, we also did a photo shoot today with George. George Wolf and Savion Glover, and I heard there's some good scoops that came out of that interview Ooh. that we're going to find out about tomorrow. Yeah. And then, what are you you're doing tonight? I'm going to Long Day's Journey in tonight. Which the is, opening, which, see Jessica Lang. So the red carpet's room. like in 10 minutes, and then the, the yeah, party's in like 7 hours. It's, Something like it's, that. It's yeah, long. It's, it's long. actually true. Jessica Lange, are you excited to interview yes, Jessica Lange? Yes, of course. That's super exciting. She, did, she always does the classics on Broadway. That's her thing. That's Send her, her my love. Sure, that would be my first thing I'll say to her. Paul says hi. All right. like that. Well, you have I'm fun. I'm gonna get out of here because you've got. Yeah, get guests. out of here. There's too many guests. Okay. All right, have fun tonight. Bye. All right, Beth Malone, everyone. Yeah. Beth Malone. Yeah. Beth Malone. Yeah. Stop. Stop. I love you, Beth Malone. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I it's adore you, and I I love that Fun Home logo. It looks so good on a dark hoodie, doesn't Boom. it? Yes, it does. I love that you're representing. I just thought, you know, I double Fun Homed. I'm like, what? 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 Wait, what, what? does the shirt say? Can you hear me? Oh, wow. I love it. And under it... this, just tits. <laughs> <laughs> it's legal to show your tits. If, if, I mean, okay. I, I, <laughs> do you ever walk, have you ever done that in the streets of New York? No. I'm just wondering. I know some people no. do that. It's a thing. It's a thing in New York. Those women in Times Square. I watched my friend watch someone doing it, though, and she walked into a pole. <laughs> it was like, uh, gong pole. And split her eyebrow open. It was not pretty. Uh, how's the fun home? It's fun! Oh my god, it's actually like 
really spectacular. Like really the is. cast, I mean, you've had some some cast changes, and yes. like I know Rebecca Luger's there now. Judy Kuhn so is good. coming back. She's coming back. She has a brand new hip. She's robotic. Judy a new hip. Now. She's part Judy, part machine. Wow. She's a crime fighter at night. Robo, She's have robo Judy, I love that. Yeah, but you know that's. Mother. And who else is new over there? Um, uh, we have Cole, who's our little uh, man. Yeah, he's adorable. He's cute. And middle Allison. Yeah, middle Allison is Lauren Patton. Right. And she's, and she's um, yes. She's leaving soon. She's it's leaving, like, and then Emily's coming back, and then yeah, and then, and then, and then, yeah. yeah. So it's and Gabriella it's now, of course. Uh, and it's so great because people are awesome. Like, like they're, they're really good at finding good people for that they show. They are, and they're really good at putting people in mm. and having like the you know you have to have the whole. Uh, you have to go through the whole fun home like funnel and, and drink the Kool-Aid in order to understand fun home what funnel. you know we're <laughs> actually doing down there in that basement. Um, okay, we're getting some random questions. Mm -hmm. um, somebody's saying, what Les Mis character would you love to play? Mark asked that. What what? Les Mis character. Do you want to play any of them? Oh, Gavroche. Gavroche. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you said it like, ah, obviously. Ah, <laughs> Uh, what's the best piece of advice for surviving Tuck Week? That's a very specific actor question. Oh, that's fun. Um, <laughs> I like to play on stage games um, and have your phone in your pocket the whole time. Well, you know, like that's important to be able to, you know, connect to um, social media at every, at every moment uh -huh. or to play like um, games at any moment because um, obviously you can't talk to each other because they're trying to work, right. which is my problem. I, right. Do you have any fun um, stories about the audience at Circle Square is amazingly close. Yes. And that's what's so cool about the experience of um, seeing it. For And there's actually that fun little video they made, right, to show how mm -hmm. close everything is. That's, yes. I checked that out online. It's a really cute video. Um, what? So what kind of, so when I went, like a week ago, there was a girl in the front row losing her mind. In what like, way? Like, like, like her face was melting with oh. tears and amazement that it was all coming to life in front of her yes. during the first number. And yes. it was really beautiful to watch it actually. Mm -hmm. Cause it's so beautiful that it touches young kids like you that too. You hear all kinds of things because you have to realize when you come to the show, we hear everything. If, if someone goes, we hear it. Like it's not, we can not wow. just see you. If you turn your phone on, you illuminate an asshole, yeah. first of all. But um, second of all, <laughs> um, if you do anything, we can hear you good or bad. You yeah. know what I mean? Like there are really great stories and then there's some like horrible stories yeah. too. But the good stories are like sometimes when you walk out and people go, oh my God, you know, like yeah. just the idea that it's happening. Oh my yeah. God. And they're here finally. That's really, really And they get cool. to see a Broadway show like that it's so it's so it's amazing. amazing plus I mean, you know like i'm on the piano bench when judy or rebecca sings days and that yeah. usually is the time where people lose lose their mm. you know and uh, i can hear just like open weeping you know a collar of open weeping happening behind me and it's sort of amazing it's amazing i was watching you watch that number you the, were yeah the other day oh. it was actually very moving watching you watch it yeah it was, mm. there's, there's a lot there's a lot of things you can sort of discover in the show that yeah way. if you come again and again you can sit at different spots and yeah. see the show from a different place yep. or you can decide to watch a different thing um, because yep. it really is filmic what's your yeah. favorite thing you have in your dressing room um let's see uh, Robo, I, Robo I, Judy I got, when she well, comes Robotic back Judy could you share a dressing back. room yes we do me and yes. Judy <laughs> um, well I have now some a fan gave me a paper doll of myself that is just like a, a paper <laughs> Allison that is just in underpants and you can put like the different clothes on her but, oh cool you know all it is is like my, I love it. My jeans and my red shirt. You know, it's like this. But I want more clothes. I want like more lesbian clothes to put on my. <laughs> I want like a little flannel shirt and like maybe some work boots. You know, like, that's fun. Maybe some people can make some little clothes maybe. for you. A little some doll like doll clothes more. maybe. Whoever made that, can I have more clothes? That'd be awesome. So I know you're not. You don't have any plan to leave Fun Home in the near future because it's the, everyone there is really like committed to this. Yeah, show. You know what really I mean? It's it's it's, it's not just it. a job. It's no. like. It's it, a, it's like an almost as like a it's a socially uh, social activism yeah. movement and, and it's yeah. just a bit beyond uh, yeah like when I interviewed Michael Service a couple weeks ago he said like I feel like the work here isn't done yet you know mm -hmm. we still we like we're just starting to reach people and now it's and you're getting like regular regular tourists coming in right yeah. they just want to see the Tony winning show yeah. and that's like amazing sometimes yeah sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad sometimes, sometimes it starts off not so great and then it ends really cathartic and wonderful mm -hmm. in those situations but sometimes you know it's like oh well we lost one there they go <laughs> it's like sometimes after you know just once in a rare show somebody will bolt after like the girl's kiss they're like no oh, really really yeah, so once in a while wow but you know 
We usually chase them down the lobby and be like, we love you. Thanks for coming to our gay plane. <laughs> you want a t-shirt? <laughs> Here, do you want a t-shirt about lesbians? I saw an older couple at Subway across the street from the theater once, and they had just seen it, and they were just kind of like, they had their playbills, and I go, oh, what'd you think of Fun Home? And they were kind of like, we're... We're trying to process it. Yeah. And I was like, all right, good luck with that. Any questions, <laughs> let me know. Oh, my uh, God. <laughs> but it's awesome, and people need to see it. Oh. So what do you want to do next? Like, it's, you know, you had such an interesting journey to get to Fun Home. Yes. I highly recommend a video I made with you. Oh, yes. Like, That's about a year ago, right? We did a cool little... thing to, to a lot of people. A lot of people have used that video to sort of, like own their own lives and come out and stuff that's like that. That's awesome. It's crazy. It's like that. People have commented. I get a lot of comments about yeah. it too. But, um, you know, and you've talked about sort of like your actor path and getting to this role and yes. chopping your oh, hair right off. Oh, right now and... I'm like, I'm in, um, I'm playing Rachel Maddow-esque person in Braindead, the CBS show that will be on Oh, that's summer, right. That's so right. I shoot, I'm shooting that. Isn't somewhat. there a certain Aaron Tveit on that show? There is. And also a certain Megan Hilty. Oh, Megan Hilty, all these popular, all the popular. Megan Hilty plays like the Fox News reporter. Okay. And I play the, like, the. Oh my um, God, I love that. Uh, I play, so she is always <laughs> in the chair next to me, and they, she's getting made up like she's going to do a Vegas act, and I look like I'm about to coach a women's basketball team. <laughs> so that's, <laughs> that's what's happening. At the I love time. that. It's really good. I love that. You um, wear a wig in that. Oh, you don't wear a wig at all? Now. But why do I see pictures? Didn't I see pictures of you like on social oh, media? I put a wig on. No, that was Molly Brown, which is oh. coming up also. Molly Brown's oh. picture. But, um, when is that show on? Summer? When do you know yeah, when it's coming on? Yeah, it's coming like June. Wow. Yeah. It's coming up soon. Uh -huh. Are you and excited? I shot, a, I shot a movie with De Niro in which I'm also this person. I love that. Which is really fun. It's, it's been great. really fun to like go, okay. You get to be this person. Yeah. You. Mm -hmm, me. You get to be you. I know. It's crazy. It's <laughs> fun. So do you have any like big Broadway musical dreams? Do you have dream roles? Yes, or? oh yeah, Molly Brown. Like it is oh. my big Broadway musical. You did dream. that. And no, but it's coming still too. It's I mean, coming. it's in the future. Right, but you did it. But it's coming. You did yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. have I have dreams to have it like, you know, clear. Let's take Molly Brown. Let's take Molly Brown. I want to see that. Six Scanlon is reading yeah, the whole is. Really I know. Good. And Kathy Marshall. And I know. I read you got great reviews out in Denver. <laughs> so that's gonna happen. <laughs> You hush down, Chelsea. Hush up. All right. Uh, well, we're going to let you go because you have magic to do at the Circle and Square Theater. Thank you so much for coming by. Thanks for coming. I adore Bye. you. Bye. And uh, I hope to see you soon. See you later. Bye, honey. Uh, okay, more questions. All right, well, enough with the questions. Go ask your questions when you go see the fun home. Yeah. Bye, Beth. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Are there any really good questions? All right, let's questions? get uh, Daniel Reichert. Okay. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comments. Here he comes. Daniel Reichard. Uh, goodbye. Je thank you, Jeffrey. Yes. Beth has left the building. Daniel Reichard. Who's now in Manhattan, men? Midtown men. Midtown men. One moment. Anyone have any questions for me? Um, uh huh. This is the date. I love the awkward silence. Da, 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 da. Daniel Riker. Right. Come here, come here, come here. Daniel Riker, everyone. Oh, that is really, that's way more than I was expecting. I like your shirt. Hey, everybody, it's a, thank it's you a really so good much. Shirt. It's a really thank good you. shirt. Uh, look, they're like, how, how are you? How are you? Um, how you doing? Um, this is great. I'm so excited it's such to a, be here. such a, a robust episode today. I know this is um, a, it's a double header. I, I accidentally said that you're in the Manhattan Men, which is totally wrong. You're in the Midtown Men. Well, you could call us the Minivan Men. The Minivan Men. The Midriff <laughs> Men. Yeah. No, it's so funny because it's like we, we've done Nice so arms. Well said nice arms. Well, oh, yeah. thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> do, I mean, now, do I have to take my top off in this? This is like Coco. And Malone the, almost did. The Fame movie, you know, when she, has, when she cries, she has to take the top off. <laughs> that feels like what, I, what we're in for. No, it's great. I mean, the guys and I have done so many hundreds of concerts, and my, my parents said, you know, my friends are the biggest fans of the Midtown, and they've seen you in different states. They've seen you. you go, they say your name wrong every time. They say that, you know, the, the Manhattan man or um, the Uptown man, you know, so you, you have to have a sense of humor about yourself. I feel bad business. because I should know. <laughs> uh, uh, somebody's just asked, do you keep in touch with the original Jersey Boys cast? That's what we're talking about. So yeah. the Midtown men, let's just remind everybody. The Midtown men... Uh, tell me who's in the Midtown Men. The original so Midtown Men is Christian Hoff, your yes. one and Tony yes. Walker's role. 
Bobby Spencer, J. Robert Spencer, Robert Next Spencer, to Normal, make, and, they all and Michael Normal. Longoria. Yeah. Uh, we all started this group. We wrote it, directed it, produced it, choreographed yeah. We did everything together. And we... Uh, what year was that that you guys started? We those? started in 2010. And since okay. then, we've sung with over 30 symphonies. We've done over 550 concerts all yeah. around the world. Um, we are on our sixth tour together. We're just having the best time. It's, it's amazing. It's a marvelous... Uh, you know, adventure because it's more been like a rock and roll band touring than than being in a Broadway show. But but I've gotten to see the country, the big cities, the small towns, everything in between. It's been amazing, life changing. And uh, and you still wear the, you wear the slick suit, the jersey oh, boys, yeah. the look. You do the yes. look and the and the ography and the mm -hmm. and the amazing uh, harmonies. Yeah, and, it's fun. And, yeah. And not only do we sing Four Seasons, but we're singing right. The Drifters, The Turtles, yeah. The Mamas and the Papas, yeah. The Beach Boys. Look, look us up on Facebook and the midtownmen.com. You can see our tour schedule. We're all over the country. We're coming to BB King's here in New York yes. City on May 21st. Right. We'll be at the Count Basie Theater in New Jersey, I think, the, the night before, the okay, 20th. Cool. So we're, we're always touring. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. It's so exciting. This is so exciting uh, being on this show. Well, thank you for being here. Landon asked, uh, how long were you actually in Jersey Boys? Oh, let's see. Um, I did two years and three months. I did over a thousand performances. Wow. wow. And then, of course, I did it in La Jolla, California when we started it yeah. back in the day. Back when no one knew this show was going to be Yeah, exactly. What it is. We didn't even think when we were starting to work on the show it was going to be a Broadway show. We were just doing a regional production. I was very young and naive, too, so... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what we're talking about today is you're actually doing a, a concert, right? Yes, I'm, I'm doing, you know, I've been doing, this is probably something like my 30th concert in New York City over the years. You've done a lot own. of different acts. Exactly. At my Christmas show, I do different shows. I did a Rodgers and Hammerstein show yep. at 54 Below. Yep. And, but this is at Birdland, May 8th, Sunday, May 8th, okay. Mother's Day. Uh, Mother's Day. Six, yeah, 6 p.m. It's called Dana Reichert Friends, Acquaintances, and Strangers. And it's really kind of celebrating... New York City and sort of what what happens every time you go out in New York City is it's a combination of friends, acquaintances, and strangers. Mm. And that combination is different every place you go every night of the week. And I don't I that's the same anywhere in the in the world. Right. But in New York City there's just something kind of magical when people come together. You meet people, there there's strangers become acquaintances or strangers become friends, friends become strangers, you know, whatever. You know, wow. so in this, uh, all of my guests, now normally I just have maybe one guest, and I always have a full band, so there'll be a full band at this show. But um, my guests are all friends, acquaintances, and strangers. So I'll have oh. very talented Broadway uh, tap dancer Luke Hawkins, Michael Longoria from the original uh -huh. Jersey Boys, who has a new uh, Broadway album coming yeah. out that he's going to come and sing, and we're going to sing together. A right. uh, girlfriend of mine, Maddie Wyatt, who I've known for years and years. Uh, who are the strangers? Uh, well, the, the stranger is who I'm trying to find right now. So there's going to be a guest or two added to the roster in the next week or two. Who you just just people you don't know? Someone I've just walked up to someone on the street. <laughs> no, I'm working on it. I'm working. I have a few people in mind, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, so do you, do you still like singing that music? Do you still like singing the Midtown Men music? Um, I mean, yes, yeah. Would, I think would the Midtown Men ever do like an '80s show? I guess I can. somebody said, "Did I miss Beth Malone?" They're so sad. I'm sorry, Sarah. <laughs> she's Daniel Rodgers. She's here. lovely though. Daniel <laughs> um, oh, Yeah, just, I just lowered my seat. Oh my gosh, you see, we're disappointed Beth Malone's gone too. <laughs> um, no, uh, yeah, I love the singing these songs, and we're still adding new songs to the show all the time. So that's that's really fun. Yeah. And, yeah, and more than anything, you just enjoy singing for the crowds because the crowds really love the show. They love the music. They love the kind of old-fashioned aesthetic that we have. Yeah, of and course. so that keeps it fresh when you're singing for a couple thousand people every night and it's a it's just friends, acquaintances and strangers then in those in those situations so too. People have seen us. Mother's Day themed about it. It's no, but we're gonna Mother's go Day. there a little bit. It's Mother's Day appropriate because my own mother is gonna be there. Okay. So it's gonna you know, I'm gonna behave myself decently. But it's really gonna be I keep saying it's going to be a once-in-a-lifetime event because the combination of people 
And I always bring, there's always amazing people in the audience who very yeah. fun New York City personality. Yeah. So it, it's going to be a once in a lifetime event. Definitely the combination of the audience yeah. and my guests, it's, it's, it's going to be once in a lifetime. Have you ever done a club act that wasn't appropriate for your mother to watch? Yes, definitely. Well, I did this thing at Joe's Pub. At, you know, I did this show, Radiant Baby, years ago. That's kind of Oh my God, yeah, started. the Keith Haring musical. Yeah, the Keith Haring musical. And so I started doing um, shows at Joe's Pub. And this thing was all about um this show is called glory days this was before the broadway musical mm -hmm. glory days it was Which lasted glory days d-a-z-e uh -huh. um and it was all about after radiant baby closed like basically smoking pot every day and that was something that my mom was not invited to the pot show yeah okay but i just did it in uh, legal <laughs> states that didn't exist at the time <laughs> Uh, uh, somebody asked what's your dream role. Sarah asked what's your dream role. Now, you, you said maybe you want to go back and do like another show. Do you yeah. want to? Yeah, of course. I have to say, well, see, I love the, the old school stuff. There'll be old school stuff in my show at Berlin on May 8th. Uh, Cornelia Sackle is a big dream role of mine. Hello, Dolly. I love the old fashioned Jerry Herman shows. I love the Rogers and Amberstein. Mm -hmm. I love all that kind of stuff, Rogers and Hart. Uh, so that's one. Uh, and you know, I like, um, so to do a revival would be great, uh, of a, of a classic show. So there's many of those kind of shows I, I would love to do. Even Curly in Oklahoma, I think that would be great. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, there was one I was thinking about the other day that, oh, it wouldn't be, I wouldn't want to do it in, in New York as it's being done right now, but George and she loves me. That is such wow. a beautiful, I saw that the other day. They were amazing. It was a great, great cast. That's a great That's cast. a show. I'd, I'd like to do that somewhere at some point. You see a lot of theater. I see you at the theater all the time. Yeah. Only at openings because I need the publicity. Um, <laughs> no, I uh, no, I do. I try to come to as much as I can. And now I'm kind of in a new flow. There's a lot I want to see. Like, I want to see the Grand, Grand Paradise in Brooklyn, which is sort of an Oh, I heard about show. that. Yeah. I want to see that. I check that out. Uh, there's tons of stuff I want to see. And, of course, all these new shows opening every... Two days, you must never sleep. I'm sleeping a little bit. What's, uh, <laughs> what, sh what song is are you going to sing? Give me like a tease of something you're going to do in your show. Let's Just see. Uh, I'll do, could it be? Yes, it could. Something's coming. Oh. Something good. I love Leonard Bernstein. That's a great thing. That's a classic. I played Candide at the New York City Opera yes. a few years back. I but um, but I love Leonard Bernstein, so I'll be doing some of that. Um, and... Simon and Garfunkel. Uh, I'm doing Everly Brothers with Michael Longoria. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll be doing Rogers and Hammerstein. It's really an extremely eclectic repertoire in this show. So, uh, and it goes kind of chronologically. So in the beginning, you're sort of at a jazz show. In the middle, you're at a Broadway show, 60s, and then we just go unpredictable. You know, I'm gonna sing Blondie. Oh. You know, it's gonna go. It's no gonna, pot, no pot. It gets sassy, yeah, no but I'm still gonna time. be behaving myself. What's uh, your favorite show on Broadway right now? That is a great question. Um, Let's keep Jersey Boys out of there. Yeah, well, so well, so you know, I don't want you to have to feel like you have to. No, you know, I, I couldn't other say Other than that. Jersey Boys, <laughs> what's your favorite show? Oh my God, what's out right now? I'm A lot. Oh, be Fun Home. Fun Home. Yeah. 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 Amazing. I was at the amazing. opening night of a fun home and for the that publicity. was for the publicity. And then I ended up <laughs> for the change in my heart. Um, you know, I, I'd say that was my that's my favorite show out right now. Yeah. So beautiful. It is so a beautiful show. so touching. I love just the atmosphere. I like very atmospheric theater. And yeah. you know, there were I think she, was she talking about Janine Tesori at all? Uh, we didn't, we didn't talk about Janine specifically. About, they were just talking about her in talking about boobs. They're talking about her in the green room, but like, you know, Janine Tesori shows are so amazing and yeah. um, you know like when I saw Caroline or Change I think those yeah. are the kind of shows I really I I, I, I get very um, I, I like to kind of get a little nitty gritty a little right. little dark you know yeah, that, that's the show I like I want to see Shuffle along that's that's one who I'm doesn't really see yeah who and doesn't? Hamilton I mean of course I could see Hamilton but that's of course. what a boring answer that is <laughs> you know they're so successful I resent them you know do you ever feel that way out there dan uh, dancers actors writers all right we're How gonna anything we're, we're gonna successful? go because I'm getting intimidated by your arms um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so, so much for uh, having Birdland. me Birdland, May 8th, May 8th, 6 p.m. Which, it's by the way, is Mother's Day. So don't forget to yeah. send your mom a card exactly. or flowers or see her. Or bring lunch. her to my show. Or bring her to Birdland. It's totally appropriate. <laughs> totally appropriate for mom. Yes, absolutely. Right, good. And, and, and Midtown Men. I said Midtown right Men, yeah. Go, go to the Midtown Men's uh, Facebook and our, our website. It says what shows 
where we are, where we tour all over the country. So awesome. no matter where you're watching from. Great. Thank you so much for Thanks being so here. Thanks so much. So good Paul. to see you. All right, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.